Hey, this is the video for DNA3. So go ahead and set up a new entry in your Cornell notes. Remember to start a new page for this video. Also check out our essential vocabulary. Today we will be discussing mutation, insertion, deletion, substitution, cancer, tumor, and carcinogen. So DNA, uh, it looks like this. I mean, this is a simplified version or view to it, but it has a double helix and it kind of looks like a twisted staircase. And whenever it is copied, that's known as replication. And we have our original DNA strand, but to open this up, you need an enzyme. So when it's being copied, it opens it up and it makes, uh, pairs up the bases and it usually does a pretty good job. And then it closes it up. But sometimes you might have a base that doesn't match up or that is different from the original one. Mistakes do happen. There are usually enzymes that go in and fix it, but sometimes bad things happen and we need, we need to fix them. And if they're not able to be fixed, then it is called a mutation. And a mutation is simply just a mistake in the DNA replication. Now there's different types of mutations, but before we talk about that, I just wanna explain what mutations are necessarily bad. So if you have a mutation, let's say you have a mutation in your liver cell, for example. That liver cell, uh, that mutation will stay in your liver cell and it will stay uh, in all of the cells that result from that cell. So if that cell divides and makes more and more cells, all of that cell's daughter cells, you know, second, third, fourth, many generations will have that same mutation. But if this person has offspring, these offspring will not have that mutation because that mutation is just in that liver cell from the original person. It is not found in the sperm or the eggs and that is the only way that a mutation can be spread along to an offspring. So let's say we had a mutation in sperm or eggs. Now, when this person has an offspring, some of them might be born without the mutation. Some of them might be born with the mutation. Now, the ones that were born without the mutation are going to have children without the mutation. The one born with the mutation might have children born with or without that mutation. And so on and so forth. So again, the only time you're going to see a mutation being passed on to your children is if it's found in your sperm and in your eggs. Now, one type of mutation is an insertion mutation. So insertion is a mutation with bases added. This is the original strand. This is the new strand. We've added some more bases. That's insertion. A deletion mutation is when you take some away. Mutations with bases removed. We've removed these two bases. And a substitution mutation is just like it seems. It's a mutation with bases that are changed. These were changed. It went from GC to AT, TA to CG. Those bases were changed. So the way that you can calculate it is you can count the bases. An easy way, if they have the same number, chances are it's substitution. If they have a fewer number, it's going to be deletion. And if they have more bases, it's going to be insertion. Now cancer is the uncontrolled growth of cells. All cells have a, a born date and an end date. Not all cells live forever, but cancer cells are cells that just continue to grow without uh, an end in sight. And cancer, the, way, the reason that cancer kills you is because it takes the place of healthy cells and that causes, uh, causes your body systems to malfunction and to uh, take you out of homeostasis. Now a tumor is just a collection of cancer cells. Tumors can be removed by surgery and if you get rid of all of the cancerous cells, then you've cured yourself of the cancer. However, it's not always possible to get rid of everyone or it is advanced to a, a later stage where it has spread to other parts of the body and then Curing the cancer is really, really, really difficult. Now, carcinogen, you see here we have radiation, we have x-rays, we have chemicals, we have cigarette smoke. There's other things that are considered carcinogens, but a carcinogen is just something that causes cancer. 
Now, what I would like you to do is respond for this, respond to this check for understanding. I hope that this video was informative. I thank you for your attention, and I will see you soon.